Alright, welcome back to Dead Space 2, people. And here we got the dreaded lag room. Once again, it is late at night. Well, not really that late. It's 8 p.m. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, there was kind of a jump scare sound in here. Okay. You really want to scavenge for resources all day, every day, bruh. And there's no monsters hiding in the toilet. What the fuck? And people got weird ass hobbies. Although candles, you know, it's a nice effect. I wish I could get candles at my house, casually. Minus the weird ritual cult shit. I can barely understand what you're even saying. Bookie bitch! Get wrecked! Oh, no resources. Feels bad, man. Okay, let me get my grippings. My bearings. Yeah, that's the turn. Let me get a grip on my bearings. Yeah, that's perfect. Apparently it's midnight. Look at these. Look at these goofy ass pics. Are those like the developers kids or something? Marker. You guys and your fucking markers. Who cares? It's a hunk of rock that makes space zombies. What? I thought that was my alarm clock for a moment. I was like, what the? Dude, my alarm clock legit makes the same exact noise. That is crazy. Oh, it's these things. Dude, is, does that mean I'm about to see a... What do you call them? A twister or whatever? It's the enemies that... You know, the body parts come alive and whatnot, and it has this absolutely horrifying howl. What? And these things wanna like... This looks like something out of the, the thing, honestly. It's funny, because in Dead Space 1, you wouldn't see these things until super, super late game. Or mid game. I love the fact that Strauss is... Like, he should be aware that hallucinations are a thing, right? And yet, somehow... What the... Oh, God. Yet, somehow, he keeps falling for it. It's fucking stupid. <gasps> huh. Hello? I think this is actually the moment I was dreading. This is where you have to deal with waves of necromorphs coming at you from both angles. And I think a pregnant comes out. Sorry if you guys are disappointed this ain't exactly a spoiler-free video. 
but I played this game before, so there you go. I think infectors are supposed to show up. If that's the case, which is usually the case when you see bodies, that means you want to do this. This is going to make life a lot easier. On a side note, there is something I want to say about the design of this game. Now, maybe this would be a bit much, I don't know. But I think it would be interesting if they tried it in any of the games. Basically, what if infectors could spawn to other enemies other than slashers? That would be cool. Dude, I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> what are these anyway? I don't even have health items. Well, that ain't good. And I cannot run. God damn it. Hello? Okay, I'll just tank. No, I won't take it. Hello? Uh... Okay, Mashi! I can't even see anything. Wouldn't it be funny if I was spamming the wrong key? Tragic and annoying for me, but there you go. Oh no. Ugh. Maybe it's there to trick you or whatever or fuck with your head, but I really hate how they all do the same animation when you kill them, the pregnants. Even if you didn't spawn or trigger the, the tiny enemies. Dude, come on. How do I even dodge ya? I'm not afraid of some motherfucking aliens. Uh. Where? Where are you? I'm gonna save. <gasps> Dude, I'm resting as hell on this game. Yep, this is definitely where the action is. The music tells me shit's about to go down. Isn't gonna go down. I don't see anything. But I heard the vents explode. Come on. Just show up so I can kill you.
Is it bugged? Probably not. Unless he's behind this door. Whatever. Let's buy some shit. I'm just gonna ignore the music. Ooh, happy place, happy place. Okay, I don't have anything in here. Hmm. Do I have anything worth selling? I really cannot pick the amount to sell, can I? That is stupid. Let's upgrade. Make myself a little bit tankier. Maybe that's inefficient, quote-unquote, but I usually like to rush armor in these games. And you pretty much always want to get them eventually anyways. It's not like Dead Space 3 where it's purely cosmetic. It actually matters. And as much as I do love cosmetics, I have to say I prefer this much more. Although I do wish the upgrades were better than just... This is flat out better than your last armor piece. Like there should be trade-offs. Like this is faster, but you... You know, you're squishier. Or this is tankier, but you're slower. That kind of thing. But I don't remember too many armors in the older games that worked like that. It's just, here's level 1, here's level 2, blah blah blah. I mean, that's okay, but... Eh. Not very interesting. As a mechanic. Oh no, these fucking things. I hate these things. Alright, so the way you'd normally want to do this is you either shoot them or you bait the shots. Oh, wrong button. XD. And then you use this to attack it. However, if they're close enough to where they shoot, they will accidentally kill themselves if you bait it. And the same thing happens if you shoot it. You know, if they're shooting up from the ground, it'll fall right down on them. But I really hate these things because I swear to god I always miss them no matter how hard I try. They're usually pretty sneaky with the placement and it only gets worse as the game goes on. Like, the only thing you can really use to tell where they are... Well, not even where they are, but whether or not they exist is if you hear the noise. You look a little bit different. Oh yeah, you can use these too. And you don't even have to bait shots if you use this. I might die. I have a feeling I'm fucked. Because I don't see it, but I hear it. There it is. These are basically like mines. Okay, they're all dead now. Let's go that way. Do I have a... Yep, apparently I had a power node. I don't know if it was necessarily worth it to waste it, but I still have one left. So maybe it's not that bad. Actually, it seems like these are almost always worth it. To some degree. It's a little bit of a trade-off. They're not at least completely randomized, where it's like, oh ho ho, 
This one is just a complete waste of a fucking power node. It does absolutely nothing. Hee <laughs> hee, XD. So what do I want to upgrade? I haven't... I should upgrade this. Honestly. <coughs> I should try to up upgrade the... The stasis at some point, too. Alright, I really don't like the idea of having to run all the way back. I don't know why they even separated the shop and the upgrade bench, but whatever. This is just kind of annoying. Okay, there's that intense background music again. And yeah, when you get these, you pretty much always want to try to sell them. Unfortunately, that's the one that sucks dick, so that the conduit doesn't really do anything for us, but whatever. Can I at least buy ammo? Let's, let's see. Oh, yeah, I can get two things worth of plasma cutter ammo. Yes, my favorite of gravities. Levitations. That's ironic. Probably very intentional. Okay, I seem pretty reloaded on everything. Jacked up and ready to go, bruh! for the rest of these power generators or whatever the hell. And Z key lets me realign myself. Okay. Okay, it looks like I just did it. Okay, no, not quite yet. Just one more. Uh, get out of my way. In the form necromorphs. Yep, there we go. Jesus, calm down, Isaac. You were just shot with needles. And where's the other body? Alright. Now there should be... Oh. I thought there was an oxygen thing right there. Or maybe I'm blind. Either way, let's get out of here. Really? Safe sound. Earth Gov. Join us in protecting our community. <clears throat> I know that some people don't like puzzles, but I really wish the puzzles in this game were more intelligent. Even Dead Space 1 had some decent 
puzzle segments. Well, not even really a puzzle, but at least they hid shit better. Okay, good thing I was ready. Would be really funny is if they put one of the, the suicidal necromorphs behind here. Or better, five of them in this one elevator. Straw, straw, straws. Okay, that's not annoying at all. <laughs> and yes, I'm literally going to use every single one of these things that I come across. You never know how far apart some of them will be. Okay. I think the javelin gun will be fine. Detonation mines. I don't even have a detonation gun. This is kind of awkward. Okay, what about stasis? I got plenty. Also, I know I'm being a little bit slow on some parts. That's just kind of uh, how I play these sort of games out of habit. That way I don't die. I'll try to speed it up a little bit though. So it's a little bit less obnoxious to watch. Oh, they got one of these here, that's nice. I'll just use the line gun. Come at me! Okay, that's cheating. And these guys ain't even that fucking bad. Okay, that's kind of bad, though. Dude, the more I play against these things, the more it occurs to me how absolutely goofy it is that I used to be absolutely terrified of these. If anything, the only terrifying thing about them is when you shoot off their legs and they make that, just that ridiculous stomping racket. But otherwise, they're pretty predictable, as long as the area isn't too wide open. When they're coming at you at a straight line, it takes almost no brain cells to kill them. Okay, I don't see any more ammo boxes. I didn't even have to use stasis. Stasis!
Do I have a fucking speech impediment? Strauss, please, that's not happening for like five hours. I love how the doors conveniently close or lock themselves. What I've not seen is happening. Whatever it takes. Courage, compassion, stability. Ooh, there's people out here. I love how I just ran into it. Dude, you're hiding behind a fucking fence. You're not a badass. Come on. Get ass though. <laughs> Quality video. You got that right. You try it, and you're dead. Wait. Can I go that way? Gotta make sure I don't miss items. And looky there, I would have missed the line gun ammo if I had rushed that. So suck my dick. Would have missed this too. How much money do I have? Just four thousand. Yeah. Have I been down there before? The other thing is that the layout of all the different rooms in this game do look a little bit similar at times. So that throws me off. I love how you're able to control the camera in these. Rip. Just slapped the microphone by accident. Whoopsie daisies. Oh, uh, you already looted the bodies, I see. Though I am impressed she managed to get out of the elevator so fast. She got so far ahead of us, mate. This poor javelin gun has been seeing no love. No, I'm not gonna waste it for no reason. Okay. The javelin gun does seem to kill them instantly, which is nice. Pulse rounds. You don't say. From what I understand, the Ripper is a pretty popular weapon, but honestly, I never really cared for it. I do want to get the Mine Gun, though. The Mine Gun is badass. I don't really see anything worth selling or worth buying. 
Although, a power node. Hmm. Eh, I got one. I'm okay. <gasps> Dude, why do you sound so different from the others? So, like, why does it do that? Like, did I cause the little aliens inside to be aborted or whatever? Is that what that is? Oh god, I must be so close to one of those things right now. See why I fucking hate these things? It's so hard to find them. And they will they will tear your ass if you actually walk into them. Alright, fuck it, here I go. How many health items? Oh god. Dude, it sounds so close, like it's right next to me. I'm so fucked. Wait. Okay, that's one of them. <gasps> oh god. Now, you might be watching this and thinking to yourself, why don't you just make the game bright? But that's the way of fucking pussies, man. You know what the way of men is? <gasps> what? Taking these things to the face. That's the way of men. Okay, there's one of them right there. Okay. Was that really it? Why did it sound so much closer than it really was? These things are loud. <sighs> oh no, this shit. Uh, I hate this part. Okay, I like that little moment. It's cute. Uh, I really don't have much ammo at all. I wouldn't hug that. But I guess you're fucking crazy, so whatever. <laughs> I 
I love how even Isaac freaks out. The Metamorphosis. Adapted for the stage. That is very, that is one ironic image right there. Crack open your dreams. Cracking tight led to, huh. Interesting, they're talking about planet cracking the kids. Reading is out of this world. Grade two. I wonder if they fix the educational system in this time. Zoom with math to school. That sounds really stupid. I wouldn't do that. I'd rather zoom to a park or something. Or a mine. <laughs> God. It's like the game is mocking you. I also find it interesting that in this universe, instead of teachers doing that, they have machines do it. Please get me out of here. I don't want to be in there. Shooting the wall. Whoopsie. It's kind of funny. Ooh. So if you stasis them, they still trigger. Even if you're not there, that's interesting. Ugh, these things would be a lot scarier if they didn't announce where they were. Although that helps too. I'm kind of curious how these things even came to be to begin with. Like how do infectors change the babies like this? And that image is so fucked up to imagine a baby being hit with an infector. Huh? Oh. Let's read this. Might be interesting. Okay, the children are playing way too rough, they're blown up in each other's faces, shit's fucking whack. Few kids sustained injuries, bad enough to need to go to the infirmary. Call me old fashioned, but I think this is the problem with kids growing up on a space station. Kids need a planet with fresh air, otherwise they just go stir crazy. No, nope, it's just alien artifacts making them crazy. Reading is easy. That's true. Unless it's another language, then it's really, really hard. 